your kit will come with the spring cup and the key. To the back of the key will be attached the plastic mechanism. Now in some cases you may have ordered just the plastic mechanism, which is fine. But in this case, we're going to concentrate on removing the mechanism from the back of the key. You do this simply by using a small tool, such as a precision screwdriver, get underneath the clip, and gently pry it from the back of the key, as shown. Remove the clip from the back of the key and place it on the table. Now you're going to want to orient the clip. By orienting the clip, this will allow it to be attached to the keyboard itself. Now there's a right and wrong way to do it. This way, or this way. They look the exact same, I know. So what you're going to want to look for is you're going to look at the inner part of the clip. That's the uh, part that looks like a keyhole. And you're going to want to look at it from the side. And you'll notice a piece of plastic that protrudes down from the centerpiece. I know it's hard to see in the video, but if you're looking at it in person, you'll know what I'm talking about. The inner part of the clip with the plastic piece that points down a little bit is going to go down towards the keyboard. So, in our case, since ours points down this way, we're going to orient it this way onto the keyboard. Like that. There you go. Now you're going to take the clip, orient it in the way shown, and you're going to put it on a keyboard, and you're going to slide it over to where you're missing the piece. Now, there's the metal piece in the center here, which is going to slide over that keyhole part. See that? Now you're just going to push it on the bottom left and the bottom right. Kind of pull it down this way a little bit, because those little feet here on the corners are going to slide under the metal pieces. Now, in this example, you see the rubber cup is missing. Your keyboard may or may not have it. If it does, that's fine. Don't worry about this if it's not. You just take the cup supplied and you place it in the center of the clip. You don't need to glue it or anything, it just is held in there. Now you're going to take the keycap and you're going to center it over the clip. Center as you can and you're going to push down. You should hear it snap. In this we heard four snaps so I know all four sides clipped on. Maybe check it, everything's on there, and the key functions. Okay, here's one of the function keys. It's the same kind of clip, same orientation as shown before. Just a smaller clip. Once again, we're going to slide it under the front. The front meaning the right piece. And then we're going to kind of push it down over the two left clips there. And then we're going to take keycap and push it down and there you go okay and this one's a little bit larger but once again the same thing orient it to where the tab faces downward that's kind of hard to see in this video but you'll see it in person slide the metal piece over the keyhole part and push these other two tabs underneath the metal clips And once again, you just push the tab key on the clips, and there you go.